Well, good morning, and welcome to Rob's Arcade. I am your host, Listen, this Robert is, uh, French. Tony Prince. Excuse me, I'm talking here, buddy. I'm your host, Robert French, a.k.a. Red 5 French. Ooh, new hairstyle available. Coming to you guys with a little uh, GTA Live, or not live, uh, online, excuse me. Pretty uh, new at GTA. I've only played it a few other times. Um, just on some friend systems. Never had it myself. Well, actually, I take that back. I had it on um, the DS. Uh, but I haven't had it on a PlayStation system. And uh, actually, let me go ahead and get some breakfast here. But I haven't had it like on a PlayStation open world format like this. Hi there, this is Bryony. And I got to say, I've been enjoying it very much. And I kind of actually wanted to uh, just kind of play this and talk to you guys about uh, something very simple. And that's the amazing ability to be able to play video games and uh, virtually become part of that world. Now it started off real basic, you know, like you were Mario, right? You were Mario saving the princess, uh, a character in that world. Uh, but as time has gone on with these video games, it's no longer so much about being a character in a video game and feeling like that character, like Mario or Spider-Man or Zelda, but actually being able to create a character in a world in which it is you, in a sense. Uh, you know, making the avatar how you see yourself, almost like the Matrix in that whole residual self-image. The 3D mapping as you see yourself, if you will. I'm going to go ahead and take a real, real, real quick while I get philosophical. Uh, but I think the main point is that, you know, video games have always been there to kind of uh, take us out of our own world. Um, as, I, as I get all hazy here. Um, but they allow us an escape from our reality. Um, when things get bad, when things get boring, when things get tough. Ever since the days of uh, Sonic and Mario, we've been able to plug in, power up, and uh, channel into these worlds. And now even, even more so, more in depth to a, a reality that's, uh, well, quite virtual. A little TV on here. But this uh, game has kind of blown my mind just exactly how <laughs> Rehab Island, how detailed. Um, oh, that's amazing. I would actually watch that. But yeah, the amount of detail uh, that's gone into this is just, it blows my mind. I think the last time I played GTA on a home system, like, you're basically just, uh, delivering, um, just, like, random packages, you know. Of course, they were drugs, but it didn't even say, like, what kind of drugs they were. It was just, like, package. Now everything is, like, labeled individually, cocaine, heroin, weed, like, it's just, I don't know. Actually, you know, I didn't play GTA for years, and um, 
I would hear these arguments in the news and stuff about how like you know video games perpetuate this this violence and I guess I just kind of went back to thinking about like Mortal Kombat and stuff like that mm, I'll go with that um, Um, but yeah, definitely after playing this, I'm like, yeah, I can understand why parents are a little upset with kids, like, playing this video game. I don't know if I'd want my teenage, young teenage sons playing this. I mean, you got like a bong in the living room of your probably legally purchased condo. Ooh, I love that song. But again, it's about, like I said, escaping the reality that you know, the reality that you have, and uh, jumping into a reality that, you know, someone else has created for you. Which was why I think I was like tripping out when I was playing Heavy Rain because that was just such an odd um, I feel like these pants are hugging my butt too tight. It's such an odd game and format to play because it's uh, just my garage. Hope you didn't like it. Um, but it was just too much like reality. Um, oh no. Where did my car go? Another car. Let me see something here. Oh wait, oh, I can't check the map in here. I'll be able such a strange reality. Um, where like your son's dead, your wife has left you, and I just can't imagine like you know, actually going through a similar situation where maybe your wife has left you, or you're going through a divorce, and you decide to play Heavy Rain, and it's like. This is depressing. Alright. Let's see. I don't see it on the map. Man, did it get impounded because of all the stupid bullshit we did yesterday? the car again we'll see what happens let me take this guy out what the dark vibe today hmm I think it was impounded maybe I just lost it so I do not see it anywhere It was up here in the mountains somewhere. Mm. It's gone. Oh well. Let's uh let's see. I definitely need to pick up some ammo. Sit over here. Yeah, I mentioned earlier, you know, uh, video games have always been there to kind of take you out of your reality, and, you know, de depending on whether you're just bored or um, right now. upset, depressed, mad, lonely. I know when I was home with my foot, my broken toe, video games were really there for me. Uh, it's a lot of fun being able to run around in Fortnite and other video games. 
Um, when you have to spend the whole day in bed, get out of my way, butthole. Um, you know, you lay around in bed all day, and then you know you hop on some Fortnite with your friends, and you get to run around and blow each other up and get those dubs. And I don't know, it's just always a lot of fun. This week in GTA has been uh, a great distraction. My dog of the last uh, like eight years now uh, has been real sick the last few months. And uh, being a long weekend, um, we've been kind of wait waiting to hear back from the vet, um, which we should have heard back by now. I'm sure my wife is probably like, I should call them. But I'm in no hurry, I guess, to get the news. Uh, but GTA this weekend has been a great uh, help and a great distraction. Just kind of helping, hopping in here with my friends and uh, just kind of taking my mind off of uh, some of the uh, inevitability that I'm going to have to probably eventually deal with. Also sell a kit for filing off serial numbers. Okay. I'll bet you'll be ready to use that the second you get out the door. I mentioned before I needed to buy There we go. Oh. Some of these are free. Well don't mind if I do. Need a shoddy of some sort. So I guess let me take this guy. Round up. Get it. And then um Let's do this. Yeah, I told I my cousin the uh, next time I hop in here, I was gonna buy an assault hey, rifle and a shotgun. I work with Lester Crest for his face. I basically run things over there while he takes credit. Anyway, I've got a new sideline you might be interested in: high-end scores taken elegantly using the latest tech. Only problem: you'd need somewhere to store our nerve center. If you ever start a club with Tony Prince, I'll give you another call. All right, now I'm supposed to meet up with LD. Let's go ahead and do that. He's not too far away. Oh, that's what I heard. Go. Oh. Sorry for the language. Try to keep it. Uh, Kid friendly, but what is that nowadays? I don't even know what kid friendly is nowadays. This is Grand Theft, right? Maybe I do, uh, I don't remember. <laughs> I got a job. A job that's so hot, we're gonna bury it in an ex-government facility under about a hundred feet of desert. <laughs> you think you're up for it? Buy the facility on May's Bank and I'll meet you over there. This is bigger than any bank job we could ever pull. Kind of uh, ghosting Lester and just enjoying this, um, this open map. I'm only like a level 19 at this point. Maybe no, I think maybe 20. I think I leveled up to 20 last night. I 
Is there like a stunt here? Why is this all lit up? Somebody please uh comment in the comment section here. Um, Hello, son. I see you what exactly I'm supposed to be looking for in this little red section? Look out. It's like oh, a destruction man. site. Maybe some sort of ramp. Go back to your city, little home. Oh no. I think these guys are bad news. be cool this was like in real life just like walk into like a ring this is it this is it big dog about to take down some bitches i mean i'm no offense i, mean, I ain't talking about you i ain't talking about you that's that's a it's all good. metaphor man come on in here my man. cousin always called me a bitch point is man your boy ld is about to become king ld yeah old school og new wave big dog sneaky motherfucking king of the castle og that's who you looking at and you you wanted a nice on my round table a serious night. And this here, this is some mythical motherfucking shit, man. Only in this version, the dragon drive a low rider. We about to peel his bitch ass for it. And you know what? He ain't even I no dragon. There's like a he's a bitch. And we gonna spin his beak PG so fast he won't even know where to hit him. You feel me? Or he's like, Damn, he's a gosh darn ding a boy, a straight poet. We're gonna go ahead and hey, push that you know guy around boy, a little Benny? bit. Maybe That's pinch his arm. Benny, man. He does the best work. We're gonna Benny, pinch that pee pee sucker's arm. That boy go hard. Hey, look, man. If you like that old school shit, that real shit, and not that new school plastic bullshit, you know I'm talking about that Los Santos classic shit, man. The most beautiful work you've ever seen, then that's why he like me. Because I'm just like that. Classical, beautiful, and imperial as a motherfucker. <laughs> man, I'm kind of lyrical, dude. Like Caesar, a writer oh, you and a flow? fighter. Talking all this old school shit. Look, the whole movie. I got my headset on. Let's go. The the ballers and the Vagos got a whole lot of OGs oh, that care oh. way too much about flossing their lowriders. I did not than realize they do about until just now. Secret respect to yours truly. I'm wearing a headset. So we gonna show them bitch ass niggas the error they way. And my avatar is wearing a headset too. Reeducate them punk motherfuckers. I mean, Whoa. who don't love a lowrider? We all love lowriders, but uh, personally, I love me more. So with that being oh, said, wait, did he say anything important? We gonna confuse the fuck out they ass. And Shit. assuming that you confused right now might yes. mean we on the right track. You confused? Yes. I've been thinking about the headset on, thing. Moving. Look, lead a serious thinking to me, man. I know you can't think that fast. Years of smoking Sherman turned my brain to a Pentagon computer. Check this out. You're going to need some of your friends. You know I love you, but you're going to need some of your friends. Three should do. So go and hook that shit up. I'm going to be right back. And don't you go changing on me. Don't you do that shit. What the hell? All right, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wrap this up. Just want to thank you guys for listening to me ramble a little bit. And uh, I'm not. Yeah, I'm gonna quit this job right now. Um, but yeah, thanks for listening to me ramble a little bit. Um, I got missions all over the place, it looks like. And like I said, just uh, express my continued love for video games and some of the benefits that they have. And, uh, um, 
from allowing you to run around with a broken toe to, like I said, just uh, taking your mind off of uh, you know, a long, troubled weekend. So, uh, again, thanks for hanging out in Rob's Arcade. Again, I'm your host, Robert French. And uh, until next time, don't spend your quarter anywhere else. Thanks again, guys. Later.